said the servant's brother. The progress we've been making with the West Indian factory is quite astonishing. We already have the makings of a top-notch staff, said Wilson. Bewitched by the eyes of death, of the dead, we are one what table luck. It appears I lost a turn, so die. Right now is the perfect time. We should begin expanding the company and building a strong labor force. It would, so it wasn't go on. It's your turn, so die. Oh yes, I just spin this then. Okay, there. Five spaces. Now what I was wanted to ask you, perhaps you could contribute another 12,000 pounds to support our expansion. I believe it will be quite a profitable value for you, my lord, and I would consider it an honor to help span the Hitlian Company. Sir Wilson, lose a leg in the Chanda Forest. It's your turn again. I lost a turn. Remember? Said I. Oh, I see right. I move six, Sir Wilson. You don't move, don't, that's three. Said I. What but, Sir Wilson? You lost a leg. It's what you recall. If you recall, now you move, only move half of the other number of spaces to die. Oh my, ha ha ha, this is a gruesome uh, board game, isn't it? Is there no, no, no way for uh, me to restore my leg then? So, Wilson, I'm afraid that once is your last year, that one can never get it back again. Your body is burnt by raging fires to die. How is it going? said Alfred. I'm doing it like you said, too. Is this really what you want? said Edison. Yes, that looks excellent, said Alfred. Alfred found them. Ash! Ah! said Heather. Oh, honestly, how many times have I told you not to run inside the manor, Heather? said Alfred. I'm sorry, sir. My glass is cracked and I can't see a thing. Said Heather. These are the last items we need for dinner. It's plenty of work, everyone, and now I believe you can leave the rest of, of it to me and relax for a bit. But I need you to do well, very well, jury and dinner tonight, said Alfred. He said it twice, said Tyson. Oh, that's serious, said Timmy, drawing in room. Pardon the interruption, but dinner is served, Sir Alfred. Oh, dining it out in the exclusion stone garden, shall we go, my lord? Sir Wilson, very well, we'll finish this game, the game later, said I. Oh, is there any real need to finish it? It's obvious I'm going to live, Sir Wilson. I'm not in the habit of any games halfway through, said I. How childish, oh. I, I mean that sometimes it takes a child's eye to see what's really important. It's a true gift. Maybe that's what made the, the Kirkland the nation's, nation's foremost toy makers. Jerry really impresses me, Sir Wilson. Stone Garden. On tonight's menu is a dish finely sliced raw beef, Donner, Donnerbari, Cortes of our chef. Percy of our chef Tyson, Sir Alfred, a pile of raw meat, beef, and and this is dinner, Sir Wilson. Yes, but surely you have heard of it. This guitar is a traditional Japanese delicacy. It is offered as a sign of gratitude to someone who has accomplished important work. That, sir, is the wonder of Donnerbar, Sir Alfred. Oh, Dinobar, Sir Wilson. This is a token from our master to show his thanks for all your hard work on the company behalf. He wanted you to know that it's most appreciated, Sir Alfred. Now that's Sir Alfred for you, Sir Timmy. He saves the day, Sir Tyson. Ho, 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 Sir Elizabeth. I don't know why they are cheering, brother. It's not that they save the day. It would turn out bad soon, says your girl. You are right, brother. I know what 
you are thinking about because we are brothers, said Shoto. What are you two talking about because you award me an only your love? The fiance said to me, Nothing low, just enjoy the show and see what will go on right in front of you, said the both of them. Guess you don't need to yell like in get jeez. You don't need to yell need to yell. I can hear you when you talk quietly, so please talk quietly, Sajai. Right, so I love. So is your is you really going to eat the raw meat? And you have to eat it for yourselves. So the both. Excellent. What an inspiring idea. The allegedly Kirkland hospitality in action. So Wilson, the vintage we are for tonight. Especially selected to complement the flavor of soy sauce. Heather, no Heather, said Alfred. Yes, sir, said Heather. Why are you just staying there? Pour the man a glass of wine, said Alfred. Yes, sir, said Heather. Why are you? That's the wine, said Alfred. Of course, yes, sir, said Heather. Hey, said Tyson. What's it, Timmy? It's, is it just me, or is Heather acting a little strange, said Tyson. Alfred is rushing me. I can't take it. Don't look at me. That way, said Heather. Another Alfred is gay. He likes guys. Thinking I'm a master kind of guy. Said, is he in a whisper? And Alfred, blushing from one of the twins, figuring out he was gay. But he knew I was gay and in love with my master, and I want to make him mine and not among any other demons. Said Alfred, well, yeah, we knew not our lover. But he knew, knew you liked our fiancé, and we would share him with you, said Shoto, smiling at the demon in red eyes. You have a deal. Let's share the young master, and maybe give him a hermit you know, of his own male members, said Alfred, smiling at the two. He looked at Tony. He did not know their smiling faces. He was busy looking at the food on his table. Ah, said TNT. Heather, stop it. Can't you see you're spilling the wine, said Timmy? Oh, where did the tablecloth eh, go, said Wilson? A speck of dirt was on the light and lift the head of the cloth removed so it wouldn't distract us. Think nothing of it, said Toy. Yes, right, a speck of dirt. Heather, a little spilt. We just spilled a whole bottle of wine. On the table, he don't kick my love. Oh, I mean, yes, a speck of dirt on the table. How bad of a harass is he rubbing his kick me? You got kicked by our lover. So bad of you, brother. Hey, no fair. I did not in wrong. Can I talk so bad about my brother, said Shoto? Please accept my apologies, sir. Do you continue to enjoy the meal? At your leisure, Alfred. Oh, my lord, Kirkland. Once again, you have truly inspired me. Impress me. What a naval butler you acquired, Sir Wilson. Yes, what a naval butler you have love, and soon he will fuck you. Just like make love with make make you make love with you, just like we do. To you every night, says you to say in a whisper. What was that? Is it good? Do you say something regarding my brother? I could not hear you. I was shot to a bullet in my ear. Said Dolly, nothing carries. Nothing carries on with your dinner, my love. And shut to stop doing that. Blowing my ear, said Dolly. Nothing carries. Nothing carries on with your dinner, and my love. Shut to stop doing that. It's too tired. Nothing carries on with the dear dinner. My love, and should have stopped doing that. It's so childish. I know you can do better than that. So you go. I just want to act childish in front of Toy for once. Come on. I know you want to do it as well, said Shoto. Not in front of the guests, but rather. I will do it when we are in his room, and not when we are in front of a guest, says you go. He him no mind. He merely acts on his benefit. One of my servants to tell you the his lovers. My master is quite mind.
He merely acts like Master's quite contract correct about that. Naturally, you see, I'm simply one hell of a butler, so Red Humph, said I. That was a 